Oi, 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 oi. So today I have this Susan. What is this? A two six five buffer. I know. Sorry. Yeah, two six five buffer. Fixed blade from Tucson. It's uh, it's not dull anyway, but I'm gonna try to do to sharpen it using my newly acquired Vinif uh, resin bonded stone. This is uh, hmm, two forty and four hundred grit pepper grit, and this one is the finishing stone will be eight hundred and one thousand two hundred grit pepper grit. Uh, I don't know uh, for sure actually the paper grid is equivalent to what grid on ANSI GRS or what is not but my guess is the paper grid is more uh, uh, how to say it if you compare it to the ANSI grid it will be more higher like you say 240 is uh, in ANSI grid will be yeah quite coarse but in this this uh, PFA grid will be much more higher grid is that make sense does it make sense but anyhow let's try uh, I gotta dull the knife before we start I gotta dull the knife first wait Okay, before we go, I'm gonna test the sharpness of this. It's kind of sharp, but I am not satisfied with the sharpness, so might as well I sharpen it. So before we start, as usual, my setup. I'm gonna put aside all this stain. This is what I would use to dull the knife. This is actually tak sebenarnya batu asah pecah lah. So I made it small lah until I clean some of the beneath lah. So make it dull. Maybe some of you will cringe. Tengok lah. You will have to. Let's see. Can't cut me anymore. Alah, aku lupa sikit lagi. Tuan lah. There you go. Tuan lah si boleh lupa. Minang lah. Sak tak bertanya. Baik kat paper again. Lawa mada kute. Bula. Masa pisau ada tejam. Siapa nak? Pasti. How can I hold an itch? Okay, let's try. Let's go. By the way, the part mentioned this steel, uh, this knife is fourteen C twenty eight steel, fourteen C twenty eight N steel. Okay, ada N belakangnya. What is N belakangnya? Nitrogen. Dan dah Don't quote me on that one. You guys have to check also. Okay, so far. Um, the edge yang kedua lah uh, no no you guys can see it uh, should be okay lah I'm right on the edge on the original edge so now I continue until I get a burn then I have it inside seperti biasa lah no? I 
I don't put, put uh, too much pressure. I just slide through the stone. Kalau massage ini ya, apa nama? Bevel lah. Okay, keluar. Just lalu kena jar atas batu tu. I think I got a bird. Small bird. Yeah, not so much on the tip, but down here definitely got a bird. I can concentrate more on the tip up because I know it's my weakness in sharpening. Jadi aku kurang sedikit lah bagian tip tu ada yang si ter si terasah buah si tajam. So I sometimes akan merah double stock on the tip. Yeah, cuma. So, Fujun dah dapat yang punya ya, so I'll be faster lah. This is a little bit faster for me. And, on continuous stroke. Push come key macam tu, I can put more pressure on the, not pressure the whole night lah, I mean, where my hand rests, and then I can put pressure to that spot lah. Cik dah laku. Beri pressure macam Superman mekat atas Ya dah habis saja As long as I can put my finger And it turn white And that is the Only the necessary pressure I need on the blade Not more than that Otherwise I will be Ruining the Diamond on the stone I mean this This uh, Stone Okay Macam dah rambut ni untuk Terima kasih Teruskan Datuk belum lagi lah Okay Until I get a permanent bar Then I was just switch right Ada, 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 ada Datuk belum Untuk bahagian tip Biasanya aku akan Bahagian tu lurus Once I get to the belly I will tilt a little bit Untuk to ensure the belly until the tip kena lah mostly tip lah yang selalu miss out because ujung kan sometimes you forgot to tip up yeah I need a lot of practice practice made perfect B banyak boleh kesalahan dulu lah. Setelah aku akan switch side, switch side. Fourteen C twenty eight. I mean, this is a good steel. Yeah, I prefer D two lah untuk yang macam. For me lah, the lowest I can, I would like a knife would be a D two lah. But 14C28 is a sandwich steel. Actually, it was developed. The the first was 12C27. The steel was developed untuk razor blade punya ya. Razor blade pun industry. It's a razor blade pun industry. High in corrosion and edge retention. Then they upgrade it into 14C28. That's why they make it into knife lah. Mostly popular among European cutlery. Yang dipakai dalam ya alat-alat dapur ya Europe lah knife kitchen knife Europe pun banyak banyak pakai Sandvik Sandvik steel series. Tu 
tahu lebih lanjut boleh tanya dengan Encik Google Definitely got a burn and I will suicide. Okay, peka, peka sebelah. I'm not eating the belly enough. First, or two stroke, you get your feeling of lah. Sine, I mean, sine your ashes. Nung chun natasya, you you will feel it. Nya macam vacuum sikit lah, flat, It's flat on the stone. This is good. Beli ya. Tahu tahu nak apa beli yang dia mesti kena kutuk. You should know the knife anatomy first ah. Yang gua sebut beli lain ni pikir orang. I can tell this is sharp actually. Dah tajam tu sebenarnya. But whatever. Sudah tajam ah. Aku just sip posati dengan sebelah tu aja lah. So I'll work more on this side because this untuk orang close ni. This bevel cut belly tu dia macam si sama lah compare dengan this one. It's more wider. So I'll try to widen this and this this whole area so I can match up with this tip. I will not make a drastic adjustment, minor, and then see, check, first, again, check, again. That's how you. That's how you. Learn lah. You don't have to make much of an adjustment, minor, minor. Anything you do on the stone will reflect on the blade. Sikit aja ya kau kau ubah degree kau nggak akan nampak lah. Only minor scratch pun nampak. You don't have to make too much of an adjustment on the stone. <coughs> Selama aku makin binif uh, stone tu, what I can tell you is uh, on the lower grip batu nya akan eh lah susah sikit nak load up lah. The one you naik dah ke grip yang lebih tinggi, lapan ratus dengan seribu dua nya akan easy to load up lah. Load up meaning to say all the metal filing. All the metal debris from the blade, yeah, stuck to the batu bah. So you have to regularly clean it up. That's why I was taking out that small stone just now for clean up. Aku si nunggu macam after tujuh knife aku asa buat aku clean. I clean is as I go lah. So aku si ambil banyak menggila masa next time untuk. To prepare the stone, so the bird is moving to this, to supply us. So, I think I got the edge. Yeah, except for this, this tip lah. I can work this one later. As to not prolong the video, I will switch side and kill the bird before I move move up to 
uh, another stop i mean to the different grid The deburring process is agak susah lah muka pakai lower grade pun stuff. It's hard for you to, uh, I mean, remove the burr because as you switch side, the burr will tend to move to the other side. If you skill a good, boleh lah. Skill aku tu sih bagus untuk newbie aku tu ok geng kemana lah geng lah macam sama belajar lah geng ok ni tu aku dah sit side dah lah by the way this is 400 grit pepa grit tu ada licin sikit lah kaya isi walaupun yang licinnya akan tetap je dapat menghentis besi daripada pisau That's why I like this stone. It's a legit stone. Nya cut macam diamond, tapi nya finish macam whetstone, water whetstone, Japanese water whetstone. Piece apa cahaya ni lah, finishing ni lah, finishing water whetstone, Japanese tu kacau lagi lah. Sama juga diamond, diamond laju lagi lah. But in terms of durability, apa semua, we need to, boleh lah. I'm satisfied with it. Kan ni pisok je kuasa tu stok parang pun dah. High steel, high carbon parang. And still, ni pun boleh cut benda-benda yang kuas tu lah. Alright. Seperti yang video yang kurang lama dah. Once you switch to a higher grade, your burr yang akan terhasil tapi nyasi tanpa gila, nyasi berasa gila. Burnya jadi halus bah. Like this, halus dah nyasi burnya. But I can feel setajam lah. Yang gigit tu tu. Mungkin aku pegang matanya The way I The way I uh, Test For its sharpness I put my thumb On the spine Three finger On the edge And try to feel it Setakat ni yang kau berani lah Tapi lama-lama lah Kau akan dapat rasa okay, Kau gerak sikit Kau akan rasa, dapat rasanya Makan Your Your, your dead skin I mean your, your skin lah Jangan dalam gila lah Ya, 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 ya nak motong diri pun ya So, I can say this one I, I'm I'm quite satisfied with the This, ya lah See Setajam lah ini hmm. Cuma bagian atas tu ayat belum Refine So, I will got, get back on the stone After that When I Already Satisfied with the tip and the belly, I will move to the different grid. You see this black thing? That's the metal.
as I was telling you earlier, uh, while I sharpen, I clean this stone now, which I'm just running. <coughs> it's a load up. So the way I clean it, buang, lock. When you must add another, take your this stone. This is a lapping stone, I like a dressing stone. You see, it's moving there. Hmm. Ada macam paste yang warna merah ya. Yeah. Then you clean. Then it's gone. Voila. Now I'll put this to the side and move on to the eight hundred and one thousand two hundred grit. So aku baru dapat tu, baru fresh. This is the eight hundred grit, the yellow. Ada four hundred lichen. This one is more lichen, guys. So make sure you keraskan tangan kau, maintainkan edge kau, jangan bergerak, tak gila. Yo, so your wrist, you hold the wrist like this. So move, let your elbow and your shoulder do all the lifting and what's that. Then you can hold. That's for me lah. That's just my cue lah. I don't know for you guys. You understand yourself, your mechanic, your body mechanic. I mean, that is my cue lah. Ooh, you see? Nice! Nice. On the finishing stone, aku sekarang lama gila lah on the finishing stone. Because this is only finishing, but you you are not sharpening anymore. You're sharpening basically basically on your coarser, on your lower grit stone. The finishing is only you refine your edge. What you get from your core stone, you should have uh, a sharp blade already. When you move to this finishing stone, you just refine the scratch pattern so that your edge is clean. Does that make sense? Remember my cue wrist lock, angle lock, only the elbow and your shoulder working there. Now handle. That is my cue lah. Cue orang lain-lain lah. Kena sama tangan kita punya sama. Panjang pendek dengan tolong si sama dengan aku. Ya, tiap aku mana tadi tipnya ada lebar sedikit lah, but I don't mind lah. Misalnya kita atau malah V, as you can see ya, tipnya ada besar sedikit. Compared to the rest of the bear, the rest of the knife, but I don't mind lah, because kita mula freehand sharpening, freehand sharpening memang ada ve, ya lah, inconsistency. Tapi that what that is, that what makes freehand sharpening interesting and ya lah, for me interesting lah. 
you try to achieve a perfect bevel but yeah you do you do what you can lah kau pola setakat ni yang kau boleh pola setebaik yang kau boleh pola that's for me lah kuihan macam apa ni kau mau perfect you pakai guided guided system lah I rarely use guided but I have guided system also only on special occasion ataupun knife yang aku rasa macam sayang sayang in terms of move ruining the edge then I will use the guided system so now move on to this 1200 Ooh. remember guys tak licin tu seriously licin tu the feedback from this one ah, as I put my edge on this one yang macam vacuum tu si so you mau pegang dia pun angle bagus-bagus otherwise kau menghakis batu tu faham si? nice one nice man Oof, nice man Yeah, sort of mirror the pun edge. I'll show you guys later. I just want to one stop in the middle of sharpening. I mean, in the middle of polishing. Uh, this is considered polishing, eh? polishing the edge. Okay, if you can look, look closely the edge on this side and this now oh shit nice huh? only this part which is okay for me okay now let's try to test this stone now try cutting test. Hala basa. Sorry, di pasar lagi. Bisa pas. 
Oke, okay, yes. Oh, pretty sis, sis, pake this one. Oke okay, ya yeah, guys, sekarang kita lihat motor itu, teman. <laughs> 